When using PNID, we have the option to add information to our drawing files that can be used to populate the title blocks. We can do this by adding data from either the drawing or the project properties. Let's take a look at how we can add the additional data to your drawing and discuss the benefits of using this method over traditional title block attributes. So let's create a new drawing. We'll call this one 0205PID. So when we look at this here, let's zoom in on the title block here, and we can see some of the information that's been filled out. So we have our project name and address. We have just sample project. We have none of this information filled out here with regards to the area, the drawing number, and the author. We do have a drawing name. Traditionally, when we're filling out title block information, this would be all done through attributes. So you would double click on the attribute and just switch to paper space here and double click on the PNID and you would get the attributes that would come in here and you can make the updates. When we're actually working with data fields, you'll notice that two things, the data fields are populated with a gray background, which indicates that you're actually pulling data from the database for that. And there's a couple of reasons why we do this. Let me just kind of explain how that works. Typically in the project title block, we have two different types of information. We have the project information, which is usually the project name, the address and the project number. And then we have drawing specific. So obviously each drawing has its own name, its own drawing number. So these fields have to come from a different location since they have to maintain their individuality here. So how we do that is we have information located in two different places here. So I'm going to show you in Project Manager. This is going to be new to you, but just bear with me. This is something that your Project Manager would typically do. But in the project setup here, we have a couple of fields where we can describe the project and add a project number. So just to show you how that works, I'm going to call this our LinkedIn PNID. And I'm going to call the project li-pid-01. Actually, we'll just make it shorter. Let's just call it something a little bit smaller so our data fields match. ABC123. So we have this information that we can have. This applies to every deliverable we have in our project. And then we also have information here. If we have a facility and address, if we have client information, all this information is customizable and anything that you need to see on a project level, your project administrator would add this customizable data here. Just for demonstration purposes, we'll keep it to just the project description and the project number. So now that they're updated, we can apply and hit OK. Now I'm just going to do a regen, regen all. And you'll see that this is updated now. So we know that it's a LinkedIn PNID. So now let's look at one of our other drawings. And we'll notice that has also updated. So typically we would have to go through and manually update every drawing with these changes. Let's look at one more. And you'll see it's been updated to LinkedIn PNID. So some of the other information that's drawing specific, we have that in another location. If we right click on our drawing and we look at the properties, you can see we have additional. Now this is based only on the drawing that you're modifying. This isn't a global change. So we can call this drawing here. I'm going to call it backwards. I'm going to say PNID 0205. I'm going to assign a drawing area for this one. Let's just call this one area 200. And I'm going to call it area 200 sheet 5. Now if we scroll down here, you'll notice there's a lot more information in here. This can all be customized. Again, this is something that your project administrator would add in, but the potential of the information that you can add here is limitless. So again, I'm just going to stick with a few fields here so that you can see how it works. To do a regen all. So you'll see that the changes that I made to that drawing did actually update, but only for that specific deliverable. Now we can go ahead and make some of the changes again. We can look at the properties on four. And let's give that one an area of 300. And you'll see that that one has updated to 300. So having the ability to change how this works gives you control over what you populate for a drawing specific. Obviously, if you have a drawing created by one person, you want that drawing to reflect that person. That can't be a global change because the same person can't create every single drawing in the project at one time. Well, they could, but normally they don't. And by having this and able to populate these title blocks, we're saving a ton of editing time. So using these to populate our title blocks, we can make the global changes across all the drawings. 
as well as making changes to drawing specific information. And it takes very little manual effort. We don't have to modify these title blocks the way we used to. This is also reducing potential for some very costly errors.